welcome back to my channel my name is Mariah and here on my channel for slice the university and physiotherapy related content so if you're interested in that make sure you subscribe turn the notification bell to all so you never miss a video this video is a mess because I literally just got through the door I'm going to be here in London an hour ago because I have a work party that is literally going to have to be the quickest turnaround in history that I've got to do but I asked you some you guys some questions on Instagram about anything you could ask me anything I also asked you guys on my latest post that you can ask me anything it's a get ready with me because obviously i can't do one thing at a time but um yeah so one of the questions you guys ask me is how i avoid burning out and one of the main ways i do that is by staying very organized in terms of knowing where i need to be knowing what time i need to be there blah 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 today is the worst day to be showing you that example because <laughs> class finished ran it over late which meant i had to take the hour later train because that was the only train that my ticket was valid for after so that was a pain so i literally just got back from birmingham for my work party i know a tuesday right i know but anyway <laughs> for my work party and um yeah but as i was saying back to how i avoid burning out so my main ways of avoiding burning out is i think because i have a lot to do and i'm constantly doing a lot like whether it's coming back from london to birmingham or whether it's like working youtube blah, blah blah it keeps me on my toes i'm not just like stagnant doing one thing and i mean one thing works for some people but for me it just doesn't keep my attention enough for me to just do one thing so i need to work on multiple things at once i think that's what helps um the fact that i like to be very structured and organized is what helps me as well i would say but let's see if i answered all of that properly um hmm let's see so yeah, that's how I avoid burnout. I just move things around, balance things How I find like, for example, in the library, what I tend to do is I'll, I'll have MSK to work on and I also have Neuro to work on and I'll just bounce between the two. So then it means I stay in the library longer because I don't get bored just doing the one thing. It kind of keeps me in that work zone, which is nice. Another question I got from you guys was, what are your favorite things about physio so far? So, I would like to say that obviously I haven't been on any placements so I can't speak about anything placement related but I find practical some of the practicals I find them very interesting not all of them sorry I found that in that nice spot in your hair that you're like oh my god yes that's <laughs> cool but um yeah practicals I think like a nice way for me to wrap up all the content that has been covered into one which i really like um but yeah i'm really excited for like placements in that sense i think also one thing that i really like about physio is learning that there's so many different interventions that a physio can do like there's things that i didn't even think a physio does that a physio does so that's pretty cool um, to hear about for example i've written down here that most people think physio is mostly massage which isn't the case whereas like there's some other interventions like a physio could use the Wii Fit, for example. Didn't know that. Most people probably don't know that. So that's also one really nice thing to find out that there's so much more to the degree than people just assume. Um, let's see. The next question I have here. One minute, let me get my top so I can switch into my top that I'm going to wear tonight. All right, so I've got the top on. Let me know what you think. I think it's kind of cute. It's from Urban Bliss. I could iron it, but I'm also kind of like, it's gonna get crinkled anyway, so what's the point of ironing it? Um, it's like a ruche top. I can adjust the ruching here. It's a tropical themed party, but realistically, it's March. So all my tropical themed stuff are thinner than this material. Um, so yeah, not a vibe as I'm like, at least I look cute, okay? <laughs> anyway. So I hope I answered that um, physio question correctly for you guys. Another question I then got asked was what's my next holiday? So at the point of me filming this, we're at the start of March. So my next holiday is next week. It's not really holiday, I'm going to Amsterdam for work for one night. So that'll be the next holiday. But based off when this video goes up and you guys see this video, my next holiday will be Brussels. Going to Brussels for two nights with Dan. So that's gonna be fun. And I'll probably bring the camera along as well. 
film little bits here for you guys so you guys can get to see it as well so that's what um my next holiday is other than that those are the only ones that are booked i don't have anything else booked for later in the year but i do plan on traveling more later in the year so yeah within the uk my next trip next thing out of london other than birmingham will be southampton to go see my friend and my friends as well so that'd be really nice to go down there i'm like i've been to southampton before but like as a day trip so it'd be nice to go check that out so yeah all right let me finish this drink and then we'll move on to the next question okay so that's when i'm just looking at myself and i'm like this top really be cute i'm like okay and then the back's like rouge it back got it on asos i don't know if they have it there anymore didn't pay full price so don't ask me the full price but I think it's pretty cute. Just some Primark um, blue jeans on as well. And I'm gonna throw my white trainers, these ones. And I'm just gonna throw my white Adidas trainers because I'm going for comfort rather than style. You know, it's so annoying. Did it come out? Sorry, I scrubbed these trainers. And there's this like, they were so dirty before, but there's that line and there from wearing them in Birmingham. Dirt marks, cause like when it rains, obviously the mud. So very irritating, but I scrubbed them as hard as I could. And this is like the whitest it's gonna get yet. So that's an improvement there. My hair, now that I'm looking at it, so I'm like, keep looking at the side camera, but like the more I look at it, I did look at my hair. I think I'm actually kind of happy the fact that I wasn't able to straighten it like I planned on straightening it. Cause I'm like, hello, it's more tropical than me. A Caribbean gal, tropical, hello. <laughs> anyway, let me redo these plaits. Cause this plait is NS. And then I bought some clips because I was planning on straightening my hair. Um, but obviously no time for that. While I'm talking, I should honestly just plug my phone in. Even though my phone's on like 70%, I'm like, plug it in, because you're going to be out tonight. So it's probably a wise move here. Oh, okay, this thing just came undone. Anyway, so while I sort this out, my next question that was asked was, let's see. Yeah, a favorite thing about physio that I chose to ask. Okay. Um, five things on my bucket list so the first thing on my bucket list is obviously to graduate Birmingham at Birmingham um I don't have a specific grade that I want to graduate with um I've already given up hope of the idea of graduating with a distinction not gonna lie the content is very hard and um if someone in my class graduates with a distinction I take my hat off to them but right now I'm just aiming for a merit um so that's me there um yeah so i say that's my first thing that i say is on my bucket list obviously graduating i'd say after that it would be going to canada but like i've wanted to go to canada for so many years now so many years so i'm just like that has to be on my bucket list having kids definitely on the bucket list not anytime soon before you start asking no time soon um I think I'd like to be a homeowner, definitely, if it's possible. Don't know when, but definitely want to be a homeowner. Ideally before I'm 30, but we'll see. If, if it's possible, that will be absolutely, absolutely lovely to be able to do that before I'm 30. And then after that, I'd say my fifth thing, not necessarily any, this isn't in any particular order, but my fifth thing would be to move abroad again and live in another country. So yeah that's all fun there i think yeah i'd say those are like the fun main things on my bucket list that i'm like these need to happen and then i'll be happy if these things happen if anything else happens that's on my bucket list then yay but 
those are my main priorities i do not have like the right like honestly i have a smaller comb to take my plants out but my brother keeps using my small comb and it really winds me up because <laughs> it's like we have different types of hair so can you not use my comb because i can tell instantly you know what i mean it's such a pain in my why, why you do that why you keep using my stuff but yeah other questions that people ask me was obviously like which university i go to so i go to university of birmingham study msc physiotherapy in my first year right now and um so that's that if you're new here hello that's me my name is mariah channel's called a ray ray uh the reason i called the channel so i need to see this thing here okay detangling oh god so the reason i called the channel a ray ray is because i was like it's an array of me and i get called ray by quite a few people so an array of ray but i thought i'd wrap it up there anyway while i focus on this plat and my messy ass here before i have to head out the house in a few minutes so that was a really quick get ready with me q a because i got dressed really quickly but yeah if you'd like to take part in another q a follow me on instagram and i'll ask questions over there so <laughs> to see you guys